Holy clickbait. The answer is obviously yes. Introverts can be good doctors. And many introverts are fantastic doctors. But I wouldn't be making this video unless there was some substance behind it. Some meat. Yeah, <laughs> boy. What's up, Groovy Gang? My name's Asmine. I'm a junior doctor from London. And I make videos about medicine, music, productivity, and personal development. So let's talk about what makes a good doctor and how personality plays into it. What inspired this video? I recently watched a video called You Are Not An Introvert by one of my favourite YouTubers and professional introvert Lana Blakely. It really resonated with me because nowadays I'm often told, ah, oh, there's no way you're an introvert. You're so sociable, you must have so many friends, etc, etc. And I feel that they don't necessarily see the journey that I've been on, all the years of effort and personal development that I've put into becoming the person that I am to feel more comfortable in being myself. I am an introvert. And well, <laughs> let's put it this way, I try to be a good doctor. So firstly, what is introversion? I identify as an introvert, okay? So if you believe in the Myers-Briggs type indicator or MBTI, then I relate most with the INFJ or advocate. The terms introversion and extroversion were introduced into psychology by Carl Jung. Introverts are typically more focused on internal feelings rather than external stimuli. Meanwhile, according to the big five personality model which is scientifically validated. Extroversion is defined as sensitivity to positive emotions. The caveat here is that we humans are all on a spectrum of personality. Personality is such a complex and nuanced phenomenon that we are nowhere close to fully understanding it. So in what ways do I personally relate to introversion? I'm more often quiet than not. I'll only really say something when I feel it's worth saying out loud. I'm very much an overthinker and my brain is constantly active. I am easily overstimulated when there's a lot going on. I'm typically pretty reserved and keep my opinions to myself. After social situations, whether it's work, party or even just going shopping, I get rapidly drained and tend to need sufficient time to rest and recharge. Other traits of introverts may include the following. Preferring to work alone, having a close circle of friends, preferring writing over talking, taking time to make decisions, being reflective and self-aware, and needing quiet time to concentrate. Again, personality is a spectrum and someone who identifies as an introvert may not necessarily associate with all of these traits. Okay, now let's talk about the characteristics of a good doctor. There's a fantastic article from the British Medical Journal or BMJ from 2002 when they posed the question, what makes a good doctor? And several physicians replied back with their opinion. I particularly like the one about the ABCs of being a good doctor. I'm going to refer to the UK Medical School Council or MSC's document, What Makes a Good Doctor, because I think it summarises these attributes nicely in terms of what is expected of a medical school applicant. Links to both of these are in the description below. I'm not going to discuss this in massive detail because it deserves a video of its own. There are so many things expected of a good doctor, but here I just want to point out some common threads. I believe there are particular skills or qualities here that are more suited to introverts. For example, insight into your own strengths and weaknesses because introverts are self-aware, ability to reflect on your own work because of their introspective tendencies, risk management and dealing with problems because they quietly consider many different possibilities, and conscientiousness because they're often hardworking and focus diligently on the task to the very end. It goes without saying that you would expect quite rightly, all of these attributes in any doctor that you come across, regardless of personality. Meanwhile, the following skills and qualities may come easier to extroverts. Effective communication, especially verbally, because they're more outgoing and sociable. Teamwork, as they're better at interacting and coordinating with large groups of people. Dealing with uncertainty, as they're more comfortable with rapidly changing situations. Resilience and the ability to deal with difficult situations. Again, you would ordinarily expect every doctor to display these traits. I believe the rest of the attitudes and qualities mentioned are suited to doctors of every personality type. For example, treating people with respect, empathy and caring for others, 
honesty, motivation, academic ability, problem solving, personal organization, and taking responsibility for your own actions. So now we return to the main question in this video. Can introverts be good doctors? Yes. And wow, this turned into improv real quick. As we've discussed, Introverts have a lot of traits that enable them to be good doctors, whether it's being good listeners, empathising with patients, being conscientious, or looking at the bigger picture. They may not be as outspoken as their extroverted colleagues, but introverts still have a lot to offer. Many people we consider to be great leaders are indeed introverts. The main point I wanted to make here is, even though medicine involves a lot of difficult communication scenarios, uncertainty, working with lots of different people, themselves of different personality types, introverts are just as capable of handling these scenarios and being great doctors as extroverts are where an extrovert might be outgoing and personable when talking to a patient and may be able to rate with them that way, an introvert might take more time, provide silence to truly listen to the patient, to empathise with what they're feeling. Both approaches are necessary and both approaches are valid. As doctors, we all have to face a similar set of challenges. What may come easy to an extrovert may be more difficult for an introvert and vice versa. But that doesn't preclude either from honing their skills to become the best doctors that they can possibly be. Did you relate to any of these? Do you feel you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? Or somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comments below what characteristics you think a good doctor should have. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when all new videos come out. Watch these videos here and until the next time, stay groovy.